Hey guys, so this is week two of my vlog. I said week one was interesting, but week two has been a little bit more interesting for me. I'm not feeling so much like a pregnant lady anymore. The pain has definitely subsided. Um, there are times at night where I still get them, but pain is basically gone. I took off all my suture strips, so my wounds are now basically all out in the open for everyone to see if I walk around half naked. I have started to put firming lotion all over my body. As you can see by my arm, it's not exactly firm, so when I obviously do start to lose weight, I do want to try and see if I can firm up by using firming lotion. I am using Nivea at the moment. I don't know how good it is, but I'll see in a couple of weeks. So with the firming lotion putting under my, obviously putting it here, I don't know if it's because the lotion is like rubbing against here or what, but I have found that I've had the worst BO. I have tried to Google it and I can't, I can't find it anywhere that people have been getting BO. Someone told me because I'd been detoxing, but I was like, I was detoxing like a month ago. So surely it's not because I'm detoxing, but I found in the last two days since I started putting on the firming lotion right here that I got the worst BO. So I'm gonna try something different because I don't wanna go around smelling like I've been working all day. Because I haven't. I've been resting at home and trying to sleep and get some naps in during the day. So gonna try something different. I am also using bio oil on my scarf. So once again, in a couple of weeks, hopefully, I'll see some change and I'll see some difference in them. This week has been good and bad. I had the worst constipation of my life. If you guys have been reading my blog, you'll see that I put up a blog uh, called Farting, Pooping and Diarrhea. It, it is a little bit TMI, but it was definitely an area that I was having trouble with. So definitely a good read if you are having problems like that. I did go to my doctor last week and she gave me better painkillers because the hospital gave me shit painkillers. Um, she also gave me liquid laxative and it's a child's laxative and it's called Parachoc. As soon as I saw Choc in the title, I was like, chocolate, yes. I don't know if it was the consistency or the way that it just went in my mouth, but the, even the smell of it, it made me gag. I had to run to the toilet and I was like standing over the toilet bowl, I was just like gagging and nothing was coming out. Um, but I took that and nothing really happened for two days and then I couldn't take it anymore so I went back to my Coloxal which is still softness and that seemed to help and then all of a sudden it was just like waterfalls so that wasn't fun so I'm still trying to find the balance between um, obviously taking my still softness and taking the liquid laxative because at the moment I'm being extremely inconsistent and I've had, I have watched a lot of videos where people do say it. usually two, every two to three days is usually when they'll go. Now that I'm on to week three, I went to my dietitian the other day, so now I'm on to week three and four which is purees and mash. So I have, to prepare myself, I have a thermomix, so basically all day the other day I spent basically making soups. Um, I made potato and leek soup, I made a creamy pumpkin soup, I made a seafood soup and a broccoli and cauliflower. I also made an apple and pear puree. I will make a blog about it and I will put the recipes up for you guys to have a look at. You guys may not like it, but I found them quite delicious. My mum has basically been on my diet for the last two weeks and she likes it as well. So if she can like it, it's it's pretty tasty. As you can tell, I look pretty dressed up. It is quarter past 11 at night. I've just been at the opening for the French Film Festival in Perth, and it was an amazing night for an amazing movie. Now the reason I bring this up is only because last Wednesday I went to the casino, I had some soup. Last Friday I went, I was a sofa driver, and I had soup again, and now I've gone out tonight, this has probably been one of the hardest challenges I've faced. My pre-op two weeks was a cinch. It was easy. I could go out, I could drink water, and because I knew that I had a goal and I knew that I had to get there. However, now that I've gone through, obviously, my surgery and I'm two weeks out, not drink, being able to drink alcohol is killing me. It was an open bar tonight and my friend had one drink and I was just sitting there like sniffing her champagne and thinking I could be drinking right now. When I went to my dietitian, she said it was six to eight weeks before I could drink and she said preferably never. If you've met me and you know my family, it's not gonna happen. 
but I know that I have to change my way of thinking and it's extremely hard right now so I need to put alcohol on a back burner and it's, this is probably one of the hardest things going through my head. Food, not a problem. Alcohol, a little bit. I may sound like an alcoholic but that's just my, that's just the way that I've been brought up and that's how I am. Also tonight they had free foods, they had macarons, they had foie gras, they had cheese and crackers and bread and baguettes and everything and it was just everything that I love. So trying not to just even put it in my mouth was, that was a little bit harder as well. But the alcohol was definitely my big thing. In the last couple of days, obviously going to my dietitian, finding out that I did lose 12 kilos within a month and I'm super happy with that. I came home feeling so happy with myself. So what I did in the morning was I did a fashion show for myself, taking a whole bunch of photos. I do find that even though I have lost 12 kilos, there are clothes that I still can't fit and even though I really, really want them to fit or they just zip up. Like tonight I went out and I put on this dress and it just zipped up, but I can still see in the back that there are things that I don't like so much. So. I want, I need to keep pushing myself and I need to keep following my diet, I need to keep going because I know that these will fit within the next month or so, it is only just like a smidge and like within the next few months hopefully my beautiful wardrobe will then fit me to perfection but seeing them just fit is a little bit devastating only because 12 kilos to me is a lot of weight, I obviously need to lose a lot more for me to wear them but like this dress, this dress didn't fit me in September and now it kind of does here. So yeah, so it fits me pretty well. But yes, definitely a long way to go, but definitely excited and definitely loving seeing the results. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. I sure love making these. These are hopefully going to either be on a weekly, fortnightly, monthly basis depending on my progress. I hope you guys are having a good day, good night, good evening. See you guys next week. Bye.